So welcome students. So in this question you given that you have a parabola y square is equal to 4x and you have a line x plus y is equal to sorry minus x plus y is equal to 3. So that is this line. So you have a parabola y square is equal to 4x and you have a line y minus x is equal to 3. Now it is given that from this line you have chosen a general point on this line and you have drawn two tangents onto the parabola and you have taken the chord of contact. So the question that is being asked is if you if you move this point on the line y minus x is equal to 3 the chord of contact that you get in each case will pass through which fixed point. So as you can see in this animation, so as this point is moving on this line, the chord of contact is changing. So as this point is moving on this line, the chord of contact is changing. But can you see that? So this, can you see that this chord of contact, which is this line, is always passing through this point J. So as you move this, please observe carefully. So as you move this point on this line, can you see that the line always, the chord of contact always passes through this point J. So this, the question that is being asked is, you have to find this point J. So from the diagram, it is clear that this point is, has the coordinates 3 comma 4. So from observation in the software, we can see that the chord of contact of the point that is lying on the line minus x plus y is equal to 3 always passes through the point 3 comma 4. So now let us try to solve this analytically. So welcome students. So in this question, so we are trying to solve the previous case analytically. So you have the line x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0, you have the parabola y square is equal to 4x. So now let us take an arbitrary point P on this line and you have drawn the chord of contact. So now the question is what is the point through which this chord of contact always passes? So let us say that there is a point Q through which, through which this chord of contact passes. So even if you change this point P, let us assume that the chord of contact always passes through Q. So let Q be the fixed point. So now this question can be solved using the conjugate property of conjugate property of polar. So what is the conjugate property of polar? If the polar of a point P passes through Q, then the polar of point Q passes through P. So now if you take the points P, P1, P2, P3, P4, so on, if you take a series of points on this line. Now let us start the argument. The chord of contact can also be thought of polar. So the polar of point P passes through Q, hence the polar of Q has to pass through P. Similarly, the polar of P1, that is the chord of contact of P1 also passes through Q as the polar of Q has to pass through P1. In this similar way, the polar of Q has to pass through P2, P3, P4 and each and every point on this line. Hence, the polar of Q has to be equal to this line. The polar of the required point Q, the polar of the required point Q should be same as x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. So you have to find a point Q such that the polar of this point is this equation x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. So let us say that the point Q is alpha comma beta. So let us say that the point Q is alpha comma beta. So what is the polar of point Q? The polar of point Q is nothing but t is equal to 0. So if you try t is equal to 0 with respect to alpha comma beta to this equation you have y beta is equal to 4 times x plus alpha. This implies 4x 
plus 4 alpha is equal to y beta this implies 4x minus beta y plus 4 alpha is equal to 0. So this is the polar of the point alpha comma beta and this should be same as x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. So if two lines are equal the ratio of coefficients have to be same. So the x coefficient 4 by x coefficient 1 is equal to minus beta by minus 1 is equal to 4 alpha by 3. So if you equate these two 4 alpha by 3 is equal to 4 so alpha is equal to 3 and if you cancel beta here beta by 1 is equal to 4 by 1 hence beta is equal to 4. So hence alpha comma beta is equal to 3 comma 4. So we got the same answer as we have expected. Thank you.